Welcome to Longleat's second video podcast, The Big Cat Feed Up. It's meal time at the safari park, and we're going to see the lions, tigers and wolves being fed. The lions are fed from a trailer for the safety of the keepers, but also because making the lions chase the trailer simulates the way they catch their food in the wild. Bob Trollope, deputy head of section, says that although there is plenty to go round, they sometimes still fight over the food. If there's a nice big piece of meat goes out, and two of them want the same piece, they squabble over it, but generally the stronger one will win. There are two different sections of lions to feed, Charlie's pride and Kabir's pride. The meat is dropped out of the back for the lions to pick up. Longleat's lions eat 44 tonnes of meat a year. That's the equivalent of two nine-stone people a day. The new tigers are still getting used to their surroundings, so they can't be fed in the normal way just yet. Because our tigers are in quarantine, they're not allowed to chase a feed wagon. So what we do is we just get small chunks of meat and chuck them over and it's a form of like enrichment for them because they've got to find the pieces but it's also getting them associated with the feed wagon so that when they are released into the section they know what vehicles to chase. Hopefully it won't be long before they can be released to chase the feed wagon as well. The feed wagon has reached the wolf wood and Ian Turner has come down to supervise. Now we've gone into the, the Canadian timber wolves and they get fed slightly differently because they get fed in one whole chunk. And the reason why we do that is because they're a pack animal and they eat together. So what we do is we leave it like this and the pack will come in. You have the dominant ones coming in, um, picking their best spot, getting all the good stuff and then each and every one of them will come in at a turn then. The youngest of the pack, last year's pups, have to wait for their share. You see that didn't last very long, there's a few bits left now. They should be due to give birth soon, so hopefully um, end of May, beginning of June, we should have pups out. Well that's a little insight into um, how we do feed up, so I hope that's been of interest to you. Last month, Lord Bath came down to launch our two new safari boats, Lady Bath and Lady Lenka. I, I name this boat Lady Lenka, and may all who sail in her be well preserved and come back safely and enjoy themselves. <laughs> Both our boats are now much bigger and fully accessible for wheelchairs. There have been deer on the estate since the 16th century and the size of the present herd is over 200. At this time of year there are plenty of baby deer to be seen, of course never straying far from mum. New this year as well are Genghis, Attila and Vlad, Longleat's very own warthogs. These animals come from Africa, but they seem completely at home wallowing in the mud here on the estate. Finally, there's been a lot of excitement down at the meerkat enclosure. Groups of meerkats are called bands, and ours has just had five new arrivals. Only five centimetres long when they were born, they are just taking their first tentative steps into the world. Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen?